There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the grand opening of Kimmage's Creek, dedication of the Rice Center's wetland and stream restoration project. There's a nationwide effort right now to remove unnecessary dams. And as beautiful as this Lake Charles was, uh, this is a dam that uh, environmentally really shouldn't have been there. The spillway was removed. Uh, the earthen dam was breached, about a 250 foot section of it removed. Uh, and after 85 years of Kimmage's Creek being impounded, it is now once again a free flowing uh, stream. This is significant, significant for ecosystem services. It's significant in terms of bringing back the original wetland habitat. It's significant for the wildlife that use this area. You restored 20 acres of tidal wetlands and also 50 acres of non-tidal wetlands, increased fish passage and created habitat for waterfowl and migratory birds. I hope this will be a future model to restore the Chesapeake Bay, and as you know, my major focus is restoring the Chesapeake Bay, and I think this is a great model for communication and collaboration. Shortly after the dam was breached, I was standing in the free-flowing section of the stream. I've worked in streams across the country for 40 years, and I gotta say, I had a really good feeling just standing on that stream bottom and seeing and feeling that flow going past me and knowing this is the way the creek's supposed to be. This is the way it's supposed to uh, be flowing.